Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make a rum and coke. Yeah. Simple. Simple? Yeah. Why would we make a video on rum and coke? It's crazy. But we do it the Cocktail Dudes way. Yes. We, we, uh, we have an inventive way of doing it, kind of a fun way of doing it. And the reason we do it is because we, we've got a lot of friends that, in, that enjoy you know coming over. We have a drink and everything. And there's some that really love cocktails, and there's some that really don't. And... So we've got a friend who likes rum and coke. Yep. And that's all he drinks. So we decided to make it fun for him. We would uh, kind of make a rum and coke the cocktail dude's way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Essentially, we're going to bottle it. Uh, so whenever he comes over, he grabs the bottle, opens it, and there's his rum and coke. Yep. He can drink it straight from the bottle or pour it into a rocks glass. And he'll feel special, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right. So let's make it. Mm -hmm. um, we use, uh, we prefer the Mexican Coca-Cola because that has the cane sugar in it and we feel the flavor is just a little better that way, a mm -hmm. little more sweet, which is a, a better accompaniment to the rum than the corn syrupy Coca-Cola that we have, we have here. Yeah, I had a friend that went down to Mexico once and they were like, oh my God, I had a Coke down in Mexico and it was so good. <laughs> I don't know if it was that I was that thirsty or what it was. And... Uh, you know, I let them know, well, it's probably because they make it a little bit different. They're like, what are you talking about? And it's because they put real sugar still in their soda. They don't use high fructose corn syrup like we do here. Yeah. So, And that was a concern. Like A lot of bottlers that make it cheaper to make, They uh, when they decided to go high fructose corn syrup, they were actually worried people could taste the difference. And they could at first, but their sales didn't drop, so they stuck with it. You know, Coca-Cola originally had cocaine in the recipe. Yep. Yep. Well, that's what they were. Was, that's where they were like, did it have real cocaine in it? <laughs> no. <laughs> you can find the Mexican Coca-Cola in the ethnic aisle of your grocery store. Yep. Or if not, they'll order you in a case because it's all around, mm -hmm. right? So what we do is, uh, if you don't want to use Mexican Coke, just uh, buy the eight-ounce glass bottles. That's what we're going to serve it in, um, and pour out a little bit of this. Uh, pour out two ounces and then replace it with rum because we're going to have the ratio is um, three to one so we're going to have six ounces of coca-cola and two ounces of rum mm -hmm. okay so we buy these eight ounce bottles of coke and then we're set so let's just stop yammering on and start making it sure we're going to open up our, uh, open up our mexican coca-cola and pour out six ounces and we're going to put that eventually into our eight ounce coca-cola jar now you want to pour this slowly because you want to keep as much fizz as you can for when we recap it. Usually when we cap these, it'll stay fizzy for up to a week. Um, so that's not an issue. And when our friend comes over, we'll have a six pack either chilled in the refrigerator for him or uh, we'll have uh, six bottles sitting on ice in a champagne bucket. Yep, when you pour it, just kind of, you know, just like pouring a beer that you don't want too much head, kind of tilt the, the glass that you're, you're measuring in. And then that way, you're not going to get a whole lot of fizz loss. There'll be a lot left there. So, All right. And then when you go into the bottle, same thing. Just kind of have it slide right down the bottle. You're avoiding a lot of fizz being created. And we're measuring these for you today. We, do, we make these enough to realize that you fill it up to the top of the label, and that's six ounces. So once you get that figured out, you don't need to measure quite so... Uh, compulsively like we're doing uh, when we're showing you. We actually put a funnel in and just pour it slowly through the funnel up into the line that we know is six ounces. All right? There it is. Um, now two ounces of rum. We're using Banks rum today. Thank you. Thank you. And then we got our handy portable bottle capper. And uh, you can use, you can put the Coca-Cola bottle cap right on, or if you're worried that kids around the house are gonna drink this, just put a special cap on it. Yep. Or at um, least mark it with a Sharpie or something like yeah. that. You, gotta, so, you don't want the kids accidentally drinking one of these. <laughs> that would not be good, <laughs> not recommended. So that's simple, it's capped. And uh, we just inverted it a little bit to get things mixed up. And it's ready to be chilled. There you have your Cocktail Dudes Rum and Coke in a bottle. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, how are we going to serve this? 
Let's open it up. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so this will be chilled. Um, and you can drink it straight out of the bottle. You, you can. can pour it in ice over the glass. We like to garnish it with salted nuts. When yes. I heard about this, I was like, no one I know, no one I know has ever heard of this. It sounded weird at first. It sounded weird at first, but then I thought about it and the flavor of peanuts, Coca-Cola, rum, yeah. the saltiness. I was like, that's got to be pretty good. And it is. It, it is. is. It's fun. Good. It's good. So you just put a handful on top and they float right on top. And my dad taught me this. I mean, he didn't say, here, son, I'm going to do you something. But dad was the only one allowed to drink in the car, of course, and eat. None of it. No one else was. And this was back in the day where you got your Coke in eight packs and they were like, I think 18 ounces maybe, or maybe 16, I don't know. It was big bottles. You carry those in as a kid and you could feel your <laughs> arms coming out of their sockets. Right, right. So he would sit with one of these between his, you know, in his lap, between his legs as he's driving. And he would reach over, grab a bunch of nuts and put them in there. And then here, he said, Jeff, do you want a swig? <laughs> People don't say it's wicked. Now, this was just Coke. This wasn't Coke and rum. No, he didn't drink any <laughs> rum. This was just Coke. Um, so, he's from Iowa. I'm from Iowa. So, you know, you learn weird things in Iowa. Maybe it was an Iowa thing. But Midwestern I'm, sure, I'm sure he's not the only one that's ever done that. <laughs> right. But uh, this is a great way to serve it. Because, like you said, it's a good combination. Rum, mm -hmm. Coke, salt, and then the crunchiness of the nuts. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, we've tried bottling the nuts, and uh, it works fine. The nuts go to the bottom, but mysteriously, when you open it, they float right to they the top. Right, float right back to the top. So that's mm -hmm. fun, but they are a bit soggy, so we yeah, don't recommend not crunchy. that. Yep. Just put them in before you eat it. And there you have your rum and coke, garnished mm -hmm. with peanuts. Enjoy. Cheers.